Hi everyone to the second video of the AI finance tutorial and in this video I will talk about the project I, I explained to you in the previous video uh, I have used PyCharm uh, for for the Python programming and also for the Jupyter Notebook visualization as you are seeing here uh, we, I have two windows the first is with the code and the second the, the output uh, that Jupyter gives me so uh, I will show you uh, the uh, the analysis of the of the stock market and firstly uh, we have here this is the scrap scrapping of of the website as I said uh, we take uh, from this website the companies that I don't know if you know this but I will show it to you. Okay, you have here all the companies. So the first thing that we will do is to save the tickers. Okay, uh, the tickers are the the symbols of every company. So uh, we'll do a request to a website, and uh, with a soup for scrapping, we'll find a a love label that is called the body, and then. Uh, we'll get all the all the rows and uh, specify the cell of the symbol. So we'll get this column and we'll get all the rows. And with this uh, data, uh, with the pickle library module of Python, we'll save it on a file. So uh, I will execute for you. So now it's ready. Okay. As you have seen, uh, it takes a little bit of time, but here you have all the all the different symbols that we get from the website, and there are 500 symbols. And if we go to the folder here, okay, in this folder now we have. Um, the tickles that is here. This is the file of the tickles, okay? And is here. So uh, now, when we get the the symbols of every company, we need to get the data of each company with the Yahoo Finance library. So uh, we'll use get data, and this will get us the the, the data of of each ticker. And it will create a folder. So we'll do it. As you are seeing, uh, it's saving all the data from different companies in a CSV file. Okay. It goes a little bit uh, slow because it, it has a lot of information of every company. So now if we go to here, uh, there are uh, this is creating new files. For example, uh, we can go to this this data, and we have a lot of of data here. Okay, from this company, so it will take a while, but uh, we'll wait for, for example, Amazon. Okay, perfect. So. I will stop because this takes a lot of time and we don't want all the companies and with the data we take we need to compile this data and this will create a, a, the, the data and we'll prepare it for the analysis okay so we have here all the data some data that we have in this case, we take 42, 42 uh, companies, and now uh, with this data, uh, we have done all the scrapping, and now we can test uh, the scrapping. Uh, I have one Jupyter notebook for you that will help you to know what I am doing. So, uh, to analyze the data, when we have all the files from the web scrapping, uh, we have a uh, different libraries that we are, uh, will be using the matplotlib 
Uh, this is for getting the Yahoo Finance. Sorry, no, this no. This is for uh, doing the finance plots. This is for reading and saving CSV and getting this data, the, these tables. So uh, first, um, here we will put Apple. Okay, uh, here we are getting the time from which uh, to which uh, we want to analyze the data and uh, we are saving uh, the company data here to CSV okay then uh, we read the CSV and we print what uh, this company has and if we see this table uh, we have the some variables the high the low the open the close the volume and the at close with these four things, uh, we will be able to do the clan the OHLC, the clandestine OHLC, that is a good algorithm to see a stock market prices. Then we'll have also another graph with the volume and the at close and that stuff. So here we configure some things and we uh, show the graph of the at close, that is this, this this column and we can see that Apple is rising along during the years uh, so it gets the data to 2019 that is great so it's very updated and then when we have all of this done uh, we need to do the OHLC okay so how do we will do this uh, this is the function to make the algorithm and uh, sorry, here we are here. So with this, um, we create a new, a new, a new column, and this column will make the mean. That is this this line that you are seeing. That is a good way to reduce the fluctuations of the of the of the stock prices and uh, get the overall increment or decrease of of the entire uh, historical data so this is how we'll uh, see and uh, then here uh, we start to do the the volume okay we sum all the volumes okay during 10 years 10 days okay and with these 10 days uh, we take we uh, we plot this volume and the same with the at close but when we get 10 days we do the OHLC so uh, we print this you can see here uh, we have the new 100 MA okay that is here sorry and now if we print sorry uh, the OHLC we have this data Okay, that is the open, high, low, close. Okay, and with this data, I will try to print it, and we have this awesome tool that will uh, give the the values, and we'll print it here as you are seeing, and then we'll do the fill between function that is a uh, will uh, make like a cool effect of the volume of each uh, ten days. Then uh, we start with the artificial intelligence part, the machine learning. So here we know, uh, we use NumPy, Pandas, and this is for the artificial intelligence neural networks and that stuff. This is for uh, regularization uh, to make all the data from zero to one. Uh, we have uh, this for the recurrent neural network also to load the model, dropout layer, dense layer, and also the long short term memory layer. So these are all the functions. And with this function, uh, we call all the rest of the functions. Uh, in this function, we have the create dataset. This uh, will split the dataset from the trained dataset and the test dataset of a company. 
okay with the split proportion and in this case is 0.8 so 80 percent of training and 20 percent of test also uh, we need to as i said normalize the data with a mean mass scalar from 0 to 1 so this will uh, map the data between 0 and 1 and we will apply this to a training set and the data set then uh, we will create a data set that will have uh, contain the x value and the y value and um, uh, the, uh, the x value will be, as I said in the previous video, in the presentation, in the PowerPoint, I say that is 50 days before. So uh, we will get uh, the day's prediction that is 50 days. And with this we get 50 days. Okay. And with this 50 days, uh, the output will be the y that will be the day. Okay. So in the y we will have the value of the next day. So if we, for example, a uh, that close, uh, we'll get that close uh, from 50 days before, for example, the 5th, the 5th of April, and uh, the y will be the value of the 6th of April of the at close. So we'll do this for each day, and uh, we will create the data set for the training set that is here, and the uh, test set. And then we'll prepare the data for the neural network. We we'll do some reshaping, okay, and we return all these things. So the next thing we will do is go to the training. In the training, we'll create a model that will be a, a model of long search term memory. So we have 96 to it long search term memory, and we'll mix these layers with the dropout to prevent overfitting and make it. Uh, the the model to fit better. We'll use the mean square error for the loss and the optimizer Adam. So uh, when we use the model, we'll try to train it. We will train it with, in this case, it's better, uh, more epochs, but uh, it takes uh, more time. So I put uh, three epochs. So uh, then we use the batch size, that is 32. And we save the model in a, an H5 file. Then we want to, when we want to get the results with the training a neural network, we'll load the model and we'll predict a, with the test X what is what will be the Y. Then we'll do the inverse of the scalar a, because we use the between 0 to 1. And we'll plot all of this information to make it better. So, so as I said here, as you are seeing, we have a company, Apple, okay, and this is the uh, prediction of the uh, neural network. As you are seeing, it's a little bit below, and this is uh, because it's more important to know the if the if the neural network is knowing that it will rise or go lower than to know what will be the stock prices. So uh, we want, for example, here to, if we are here and we don't know if we want to buy or sell, this network will say, sell, uh, tell us that uh, we should go up. So we will should uh, buy more stocks because the stock market will rise. So uh, this is very cool. Uh, what you are seeing here is only the 20% of, of all the data. And uh, now we'll use it, uh, I will show you a test of this, okay? So here, this is the same of code. For example, I will put here Amazon, okay? And we will execute the program, okay? It has compiled, but we don't want this, sorry. Uh, I need to run AI Finance. Okay, using TensorFlow backend, we are using artificial intelligence, and it is, it starts to train. Okay, the neural network. This is the first epoch. You you can see that the error is decreasing. Sorry. Okay, and the third epoch.
perfect. So now uh, it will show us uh, some plots. Okay, as you are seeing here, we have the Amazon. Okay, this is the the overall of the uh, since uh, 2000, and you can see here that it's doing quite well, but then it reduced the the accuracy. So with more epochs, it will be better. Okay, you can see here the zoom. We can zoom, for example, here or here. And this is done. Okay, I will put uh, all the code. You have, uh, you will have all the code on my Wix uh, GitHub page. And see you soon with new projects and new artificial intelligence tools. See you in the next video.